have a real question for you. Let's say one of us, all of us, were uh, Olympic gold medal winners. Pick the event, but not like swimming, not like where you're a really famous or gymnastics or thing. So let's say you had a gold medal. You win one. And uh, here's uh, Rio, here's Tokyo. But let's say you won it in a more niche event. Have you ever, we could use that word until the Olympics <laughs> are over, he said. Like team handball or curling, where you may have not and got, not got national publicity. You're not on Jimmy Fallon's show or whatever. It's like a bloated Ted Lasso. Or... Oh, you called him bloated. <laughs> um, where would you put it at your house? Would you go safe deposit box to keep it safe or would you display it so people could see it? And if you were gonna display it, where in your house to make sure people could see it? Because let's say you had a home office. You put it in the home office, people don't necessarily go into home offices. You know, so that's kind of your private area. You have to like escort them in. But do you, you put it over the mantle of the fireplace? Mm. You... I would put it in a safety deposit box because people, if one person knows that the gold medal is there, then it won't be long before others are gonna go, hey, one, can we see the gold medal? And you gotta take it out, and then people know that you got it in the house. So you don't want people knowing you won a gold medal? Well, no, they're gonna know because they'll be like, oh yeah, he won a gold medal. I've got some neighbors I don't know that well. If I went to their house and I saw a gold medal hanging there, like let's say he was an old guy. There's an old guy who lives two doors down from me. He's a really nice guy. But he says like, hey, in 1948, I won a gold medal for diving. I would have no idea. By, by that time, I don't know if I would care that you cared that I won a gold medal. Right. Okay. What do you about you guys? I'd put it in some hallway that you have to pass, that you, where you have to see it, right. whatever, however you're- Right, the way to the bathroom. However, yeah. there you go. However, you see however, it a lot. However <laughs> your room is constructed. I'd put it high enough so people can't touch it, even if it's encased in glass. And then I'd have one of those things where, you know, you could put like a little light over a piece of art so that it's shining just so nicely to right. kind of make it glow. Just yeah, I'll get like a mannequin or like a, uh, a like one of those Roman statues yeah. where they're like shredded or whatever, like and then just put it around the Oh, yeah. in your garden? So right, as soon as you, you walk in the front, Front door like of the foyer and you're like oh you're just hit with this like <laughs> shredded dude and yeah. yeah there's my gold medal okay right there won that or you could dress title. up a mannequin with your olympic outfit yeah. and put the gold medal on it if you wanted because well, then you can try and be like faux humble around it too like ah, it's not that big of a deal but like you've made this big presentation around it but, if, like, you, ah, it's... but if you put it on some ripped muscular guy and you want it for bed and this kind of takes away a little bit from it, it's like whoa what, what big muscular event did you win oh you know the thing with the little birdie that you hit with the racket right? That's what I, I love mean. when you make fun of the physicality right? <laughs> shuttlecock shuttlecock yeah that is, that is the poster boy for Curly right there. That everybody. looks like yeah. Andy that's Reed. Like thin Andy that is, Reed. That's Andy Reed. Thin Andy Reed. And look, he's got the sleeve on the right side. I mean, that is. You got to keep that arm yeah. warm. You got to keep that arm warm. You know that's that. That's like the. Uh, yeah. That's like the Jerry West logo of curling. That's what <laughs> you, yeah. Look at that dude. That's great. Look at the focus. The Canadian. Fo oh, he's U.S. <laughs> Beef. Is there any chance that man does not reside in Wisconsin? There's no chance I, whatsoever. I, I think he's from Minnesota, but I'm not sure. Wait, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, What's the difference? Airport, yeah. <laughs>